In this video, I will show you how to set up an MFC that is a Microsoft Foundation Classes application. This is simply just the setup. So the first thing you're going to want to do, this is uh, Visual Studio 2015. Go to File, New Project. And then locate your Visual C++. If you do not have this installed, you are going to have to click on it and say Install. Notice for like ASP.NET, I would have to install this. So if uh, MFC does not show up, click on Visual C++, and then there should be a, uh, a file here that says, uh, would you like to install MFC, or you need to download the following tools to install MFC. From the Visual Studio, select the MFC application, name it whatever you want, put it in the directory of your choice, Click OK. Next what you're going to want to do is this is going to be for a console application. The difference between these two, click Next, is that a multi-document, as you, we look up at the preview right here, allows us to have, say, what we have right now is an application. We can view documents within that application. That's not what we want to build at the moment. Instead we want to build just a focused application and in terms that is called a dialog based. So go ahead and click on dialog based. Notice that as soon as I click dialog based, MFC gets selected and all the other ones get grayed out. Uh, as for use HTML dialog, no enhanced MFC controls, I just leave it as default. And then the other thing you'll want to change, or at least in my case I'm changing, is I do not need the security development lifecycle since this is just a test environment. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change from use MFC DLL. Click Next. The next thing you're going to want to do is probably have what we have up here is like an expand and minimize button. So click on Minimize Box, Maximize Box. If we hover over it, it tells us exactly what this is. Specify a main window that has a Maximize button. Specify a window that has a Minimize button. We do not need these two right here. Just leave the rest as default. Click Next. I'm going to honestly leave on ActiveX controls. I don't need to play around with any of the rest of this. Click Next. Notice that it has two uh, created or generated classes. And click Finish. Okay, now that we have our application loaded, uh, one of two things you'll want to note. Note that I have a grid set up. By default, when you see this, you won't have a grid. It'll probably look like this instead. The first thing that you're, you're going to want to do is get rid of this little text field right here that says to do place dialog controls here. Go ahead and click on your delete button and delete that. Great. Go ahead and save it. And then to see grid differences, go up to the, this is again 2015. Format, Guide Settings, and you can change Rulers and Grids, None, Grid, click OK, or if you have your toolbars, toolbar enabled, you can actually go off to the right here like I do, and you can change it from a toggle grid or a grid to basically setting up rulers, but I'm going to keep it at grid. Next, let's make sure the application actually runs. Click Local Windows Debugger. Do you want to run this? Yes, I want to build it. And there we go, we have a blank application. If I click OK, it closes out the application at the moment. That's because that's what the OK button is doing and the same thing for cancel cancel would close out the window thanks for watching